want to offer compassion to you and to myself for our moments of imperfect action and uh, raw humanness in a time of this global pandemic when all of our regular systems have been disrupted and our family may be far away, our beloved people may be far away. You may find yourself, I'm finding myself um, not having constant ideal self-care. And I wanna say that that's okay for me, for you. If you're struggling today, if you ate a bunch of things that made you feel kind of terrible, or if you spent an entire day lying around and it felt wonderful, or you spent an entire day not moving and, and you can sense that that's like created stagnation in your body, or if you are reactive when something simple happened that you normally wouldn't react to, if you felt less spacious, if you've noticed yourself responding with a sense of rigidity or control or agitation or inflexibility, if you've noticed that you've done some numbing and checking out, feeling disconnected, if you've gotten like super fucking high performance and you're like, I'm, I'm like, whatever it is, I'm going to do a lot of it and do it really, really perfectly and well. Like however you are showing up, I just want to invite you to give like a huge ball of love and compassion to the parts of us globally, personally, individually, myself included, that are doing the best we can to navigate this unique terrain with a lot of our beloved people far, far away without access to the things that we may regularly enjoy. And there's room for you to be revelrous and shiny and inspiring and empowered and supportive and, and and stepping up and helping out your neighbor and there's room for you to like spend eight hours staring at the television and uh, there's room for you to freak out and snap at someone unexpectedly or snap at yourself uh, we can give each other do-overs it's all right to be like hey <laughs> that didn't go so well let me try that again um, one of the things I found has been really helpful for me is one of the ways that stress is showing up in my system is when um, something shifts from how I expected it to be. I notice that I instantly clench up. I get a little bit rigid and inflexible. And so when that happens in its relationship with someone else, I will pause and take a breath and then send them a text or call them or get on Zoom and just say, hey, let's, let's talk about this in real time. I'm noticing that I'm feeling a little bit rigid and I wanted to co-regulate with you and I wanted to speak to you so that I can get creative with you because I'm just, I can tell I'm a little agitated. And so if that's you right now, make room and lots of um, care and offer lots of compassion and tenderness to your dysregulated parts. It happens, you're human, this shit's hard. And maybe for you it's not hard. And if it's not hard, Oh, hallelujah, that's awesome. <laughs> um, and maybe it will be hard for you tomorrow. And maybe it will be easy for me this afternoon, right? It's a wave. I just want to remind myself and remind you that none of this is fixed, that I'm not fixed, that you're not fixed, that none of this is solid. I'm a process unfolding, as are you, and so is this pandemic. And how we respond to it is going to shift and move and what's available to us at any given moment, the capacity that we have, our ability to tap into our inner resources or external resources, that's gonna shift and change moment to moment. And so just take this moment right now, if you're watching, to just offer yourself a little bit of love, a little bit of care, a little bit of tenderness. And one little sweet somatic thing you can do is take your right hand and place it just under your left armpit just along your rib clip case right on the side where your heart is and with some firmness maybe press in and up so kind of gather yourself and your left hand you can cross your body and tap the top right shoulder 
And again, firm. And just give yourself a moment of squeeze. And if it feels good for you, you can close your eyes. If that feels agitating, you can keep them open. But if you're doing this with me right now, just take a moment to feel the perimeters of your body. Feel the container of your skin. Feel your selfness. Notice the sensations that are present. Maybe even out your breath. Another thing you can do is place one hand right on your forehead and another hand right on your chest. Again, your eyes can be closed or they can be open. Just sense what feels available for you. And keep your hands here until you notice something. Hang out until you sense a shift, some sensation. Sense the energy or the exchange or the connection between your heart and your head or maybe your hands, your skin. Maybe it takes just a couple of moments or maybe it takes five or ten minutes. But wait until you feel something, until you notice a sensation. When you have that, take your top hand and move it down to your belly. The hand on your heart can remain on your heart. And again, notice what you notice. Notice any energy or activation or sensation or connection between your belly and your heart. It's okay for you to do less. It's okay for you to be imperfect. It's okay for you to be under-resourced sometimes. It's okay for you to not have a perfectly disciplined self-care regimen. It's okay for you to start over at any given moment. It's okay to say oops and ouch. Give room for yourself. Give room for each other. I love you very much. I hope you are well. My heart is with you right now. And I'm going to go take a nap.